text to speech is one of the most ever popular use case of artificial intelligence in this video we will be installing this new model chat tts locally and then we will generate speech or audio from our own text i will be installing it on my own vm having a one gpu of 48 gb of vram but the good thing is that if you have around 8 GB of VRAM, you should be able to generate audios of under 30 seconds with the help of this model. This model, Chat TTS, is a text to speech model designed specifically for dialogue scenarios such as LLM Assistant. It supports both English and Chinese languages. This model is trained with 100,000 plus hours composed of Chinese and English. But the open source Hugging Face version, which you can see on your screen, is a 40,000 hours per trained model without supervised fine tuning. There are a lot of good features in both closed source and open source models. For example, it's really good at conversational TTS and it is optimized for dialogue based tasks, enabling natural and expressive speech synthesis. It supports multiple speakers, facilitating interactive conversations. It could also predict and control fine-grained prosodic features including laughter, pauses and interjection and we will also see one example. It has be better prosody. When we say prosody, prosody is a term used in linguistics to describe the rhythm, stress and intonation of speech. For example, rhythm means a pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in speech and the stress is emphasis placed on specific words. And then you can also do pause, rate, volume, pitch, juncture, a lot of things which include prosody. And it really plays a crucial role when conveying meaning, emotions and attitudes in spoken languages. And that is why when we see that this model like chat TTS can also do better prosody, that is awesome. And chat TTS has already surpassed most of the open source TTS models in terms of prosody. And they have also put in some information on this Hugging Face page. Plus, they also have a GitHub repo which you can check out here. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. Also, licensing is a bit vague. I mean, for the educational research purposes, it is fine. But if you are looking to use it for some sort of commercial usage, I would highly suggest you read their uh, Hugging Face page plus their licensing term. Having said that, I will be using, as I said, one VM and then one GPU card that has been very graciously sponsored by our good friend at Mast Compute. So if you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, then I will drop the link to their website and also I will drop in a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted offer. No lock-in, very high quality and you will also see shortly when I use it in my own system. So let me take you to the VM. This is a VM where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM. And as, as I mentioned, if you're looking to do it on your own, you don't need 48 GB of VRAM. 8 GB, 16 GB is more than enough. Let me clear the screen. Another thing I always recommend is to have Conda installed. If you don't know how to do it, I have already done a video on it. So please search the channel. I have this Conda version installed. Let me clear the screen. And now let me create the conda environment which is going to create a virtual environment that is going to keep everything nice simple and separate from a local installation as you see as you see you can see that's already done let's step into that environment and you can see that it is activated now in parenthesis let's clear the screen now let's git clone that gtts uh, repo that is done let me cd to it and that is done too let's clear the screen let's install all the prerequisites and it took me a lot of time to figure out all of these prerequisites because it's not really mentioned in their uh, requirement.txt so let me install all of these and don't worry i will drop all of the commands which i'm using um, in my blog and i will drop the link to the blog in video's description so you can just copy paste so let's wait for all of these prerequisites to get installed and this takes a bit of a time because i already did it earlier just to make sure all the prerequisites are there so it is using it from the cached as you can see on the screen but if you are doing it first time it is going to take a bit more time 
but not that i think four to five minutes at max almost there okay, all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and by the way you can use the same commands on windows too if you are on the windows let me fire up my python interpreter let's import whatever we have installed now and if you look we are setting some of the configuration of torch library like dynamo config cache size dynamo config suppress errors so cache size is a uh, primarily what this cache size is doing it is setting the maximum value of the cache for the dynamo module and dynamo module is used for dynamic computation graph construction and then we are also setting we are suppressing the error to so that you know if we don't get too much clutter and i already have tried to suppress the warning okay and then um, we have just set float 32 mutual precision to i to improve the performance okay so because i have larger gpu you can just skip it if you don't have a larger gpu but should be okay even if you use it let's give it a text which we want to convert into audio so this is a text i'm just asking you to do hello this is fahad and an ai youtuber and then some laughter subscribe to the channel please and also share it among your network and then let's initialize the chat tts this is a command to initializing it and then let's load that model this is the open source one which we are loading so let's wait for it to load shouldn't take too long almost there the first time when you will do it it might just download it from the hugging face and let's give it the text it is initialized and here you get might get some warnings when it is doing the grammar so don't worry about it just skip it so that's a known issue with them so you can ignore those warnings let's wait for it it takes around one or minute or so and the longer your text will be the longer it is going to take it is generating the grammar as you can see and it won't go top to the 384 it is just going to go as many frames of audio as needed so these were the warnings i was talking about while it generates the audio so you can ignore these warnings and then you see that it has generated 35 frames for this and then it is going to generate for the next one as many as needed and that is done now in order to generate the uh, save the audio the audio has been generated i'm just using that waves file which we can, uh, generated earlier and then i am uh, saving it with the help of torch audio and this is going to save it in my uh, output directory let me quickly show you that output directory so this is output directory it is empty at the moment let's go back to terminal and then click on save uh, enter and then now it should have saved it let's go back to our directory and there you go this is our audio file let me play it now just to refresh your memory first without before i play it let me take you back and i'll just press enter a few times and if you remember this was our text that hello this is fahad and i an ai youtuber subscribe to the channel please and also share it among your network let's see if it was able to generate it or not let me play it. Hello, this is Fahard, an AI YouTuber. Ha ha ha. Subscribe to the channel, please, and also share it among your network. Pretty good, isn't it? Let me play it again. Hello, this is Fahard, an AI YouTuber. Ha ha ha. Subscribe to the channel, please, and also share it among your network. Good stuff. So, you see, uh, just for the short video, it took a lot of, I mean, very, very, I think, six seconds. So, pretty good quality i would say all open source all free you can easily generate uh, you know whatever audio you want to generate from it you can even uh, convert other prosody like you know crying pausing and then whatever is there in the in terms of stressing and intonation so really impressed by this let me know how you go and if you face any issues let me know in the comments happy to help out if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. 
Thanks for watching.